Well, week two, and as far as I know, nobody's dropped out yet. <laughs> or at least I hope not. This week we have to think about something all too many librarians don't really want to deal with. Money. This gets particularly vexatious when we deal with folks who sell books and other knowledge-bearing media that we carefully store and make available to the public or students or whomever walks in the door. The stuff is all so cool and necessary for a worthwhile life. Why do we have to indulge in haggling over mere money? So, we have to talk about the publishing industry for a while. The lecture may be a case of announcing the obvious or swatting a fly at a fly with a baseball bat, but there are things I think you have to know about publishers. Primarily, they are in business to make money, not necessarily just to push wonderful stuff out the door and hope we'll buy it. Publishing, from the very beginning, has been to a large degree about the money, and more so now than in the days of Aldous Manutius. A little bit of history, a lot about how the publishing business actually works, some dollar figures that may astound you, they did me, and we'll have at least an introduction to a very complex business. A business with which the largely public enterprise of library land has a sometimes uneasy symbiotic relationship. And we didn't even get into serial places, prices where things can get really ugly. There's an awful lot of reading material ahead of you, and as always, the discussion board awaits. <laughs>